Hey, I'm Johnny Pierce from The Drums. I'm here at Amoeba, and we're doing What's in My Bag. I guess in no particular order, I went and got a DVD. Jack, will you answer one question for me? Do you believe that love is a continuous stream? Sir, we have a little daughter that's going through puberty right now. And she's more important than you are right now. The director, John Cassavetes, who's one of my favorite directors, and he was married to Jenna Rollins. They made a series of beautiful films together where she's the star. One is called Opening Night. I think it's probably my favorite movie of all time. It was really kind of new for an American director to shoot movies that encapture such like realism and voyeurism. When someone is temporarily insane, like Jack here is, and, and, and he's a wonderful guy, but you see, when, when someone is like that, they don't want to see the people that they really love letting scenes be maybe a little too long for the average Hollywood audience and, and having you be right there in the moment and shaky cameras. And I think there's even some sort of ad lib element to the speaking parts. You know, you're really right there in the moment. It's really beautiful. We've had experiences of the heart you couldn't even imagine. You're talking about a guy who, who, who held my hand in a hospital, who cried when his baby was born. Where were you? So I'm really excited. I'm really glad you have this. So I'm probably going to watch this tonight with my boyfriend. I'm usually a lot more fun, I'll tell you that right now. I should have talked about this first. Bjork Homogenic. This came out in 1997. I was just a young boy. I grew up in the church. My parents are both born again pastors. Christian music was all that was allowed and anything else was not. So uh, I loved music so much and I wanted to hear as much of it as I could. And so I would go to our record store in the local mall of Sam Goody. I heard this playing over the speaker system and I had never heard music like it before. It was the song Yoga. It's track two on here. I just thought, like, I can't believe this music exists. So I asked them who it was. So oh, this person, Bajork. <laughs> I bought it, and I remember putting headphones on, listening to it. You know, my life really did change at that moment. I was making music at the time. My, my father actually gave me a synthesizer that. Um, he used to play in the church uh, as sort of an, a substitute for an organ. I haven't made music like this, like the drums sound very different from this album, but it was just that idea to kind of do whatever you want. And there's a real spirit of freedom and empowerment on this album. Also, I think the best music video of all time, All Is Full Of Love, um, is the last track on here. Love you. Okay, this is Daft Punk Homework. This is the same year, 1997, as Bjork. 97 was an amazing year for music. There was a great record by a band called Joy Electric that came out the same year. I mean, that was the year for me where I was just like, wow, music. Just music is amazing. <laughs> I don't know if they've ever topped it as far as just being so new and so fresh. Now their sound is much more refined and very thought through, but this is, to me, it's like their punk album. You know, it's just, it's rough and raw and real. It has sort of a garage house quality to it. <laughs> I still think nothing sounds like this record. It's incredible. I picked up something I know nothing about, but I thought it had such a beautiful cover. It's in the reggae section. It's called Stalawa in East Africa. I just happened to be getting 
more into reggae. Uh, it's, I had a reggae phase 15 years ago, and I'm just starting to kind of, you know, I hear reggae and I find myself like kind of grooving to it again. And I just thought this was beautiful, so I'm just gonna check it out. <laughs> Here's the old Beck Classic Sea Change. I think it's really stunning. Baby, I moved to New York in like 2001, 2002. Fell in love for the first time. And the guy I was seeing was British and had to, his visa ran out and he couldn't stay. So he had to go back and we were deeply in love. And, but we, we also needed to break up because it just wasn't sustainable and he didn't have FaceTime or things like that. And he had no plans to come back. I had no plans to go there. And on his way to the airport, he stopped by where I was living and gave me the CD. And um, I lost like, you know, 20 pounds. And, and still, like when I hear this, I'll just, you know, I'll feel it. Last but not least, it's a DVD by one of my favorite directors, Hirokazu Koreata. I can never remember how to pronounce his name. But the movie I must have seen 50 times, it's called Still Walking. It's sort of a voyeuristic movie, which I guess is kind of, it's my type of movie. I, I really like that. I love food. There's a lot of food preparation in this movie. As a matter of fact, the DVD comes with, uh, the booklet has recipes for all the meals that they make. Spent a lot of time watching this mother chopping cucumbers and making ramen and just these beautiful shots of on food, which I think is really nice. But the story is really about um, a father and son who can't really connect. The father uh, was a doctor, wanted his, his eldest son to follow in his footsteps. And the eldest son died, and then the second born son had no interest in being a doctor and went on to be someone who restores art for museums and the father can't see any real value in that line of work. It's a very quiet movie, it's very subtle, but I think I cry every time I watch it. And it really speaks to me too, you know? Like, my, I remember once my father sitting me down and saying, you know, I really want you to work in the church. And, and he was really serious about that. And um, I couldn't do that, and I had to kind of find my own way. Um, so, it's just a beautiful movie. So if you like sad movies like me, check it out, Still Walking. And that's all I shopped for today. So much good stuff at Amoeba, and Amoeba has always been so nice to me. Glad to be back. Thank you so much. Thanks for all my stuff. Awesome, thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> Just winging it. Oh, that was great. Uh. It's funny.